welcome back to my channel. For this install, I'll be using some of my raw Indian straight hair. Check out this 10 inch closure. Along with the 10 inch closure, we have a 12 inch bundle. Super bouncy and silky. A 14 inch bundle. And last, we have a 16 inch bundle. So I will be adding this hair to the website very soon and I'll be having a promotional sale so be on the lookout for that. For now you can check out my Brazilian hair, I do have bundle deals available. This braid pattern is a little bit different from the one that I posted previously. This time I'm adding a braid in the front. This is so that when it's time for me to tighten up her closure, I can remove the braid, tighten the braid back up, and then tighten the closure as well. Now you'll want to stitch this braid down. You don't want to stitch this braid down anywhere where you'll be sewing tracks. Remember this is only to tighten up your closure so you want the braid to be somewhere under the closure so that you can have easy access to it. see this braid pattern is just a little bit different than the one that I posted previously um, if you wanted to sew this extra braid down you could instead I'll be just tucking this in between the braids that I've already braided down just to remove your sew-in. You can just find your braid and remove your sew-in. Now we're ready to sew on the lace closure. As you can see, it is colored. She decided she wanted to color her hair, so I let her color her hair. 
Now we're just gonna cut some of the lace off. I'm not cutting it all the way at the hairline. I am leaving just a little bit of lace at the front. This closure came with a middle part and if I use that middle part, then I won't have room to lay any tracks. So I'm just going to ignore the middle part and move the closure over just a little bit and I'll just create her a new part instead of using the middle part. The first thing I'm gonna do is lock it in on one side. side of the closure. want to make sure you put a little tension on this when you pull it just to make sure that it's not rippling or buckling when they get ready to part it or style it.
Okay, so now we gotta get this front right. So we're gonna part just a small piece of the hair out on the closure. Pull it down and stitch in between so that it's not obvious. You don't wanna stitch right there in the front. You wanna make a little stitch inside of the closure where the parting is so that no one sees it at the very front of your hairline. That is what that little braid is for. I'm just gonna stitch right there on that braid just to secure the front so that it's not flying back or lifting up. Just finding her part before I make another stitch to secure it. I gotta figure out exactly where I want to part her hair. it to customize the part to her natural part if you would like to see how to pluck a closure please leave that in the comment section below and I will definitely make a video on that this is just kind of like a brief run through of how I pluck them but there's a lot more to it so if you want to see how to customize a closure please leave that in the comment section below and thanks for watching